see if I can do this without <laughs> getting emotional. Um, ranching relates um, a person and all of our complexity to the real world um, animal and earth kingdom that we live in. Uh, there's something that's inherent, I think, that's uh, genetically inherent in human beings because we've come from a million years of farmers. We've been so successful at farming techniques that the average consumer has no idea where any of their food comes from. Uh, so that I, and I have just a personal drive, I suppose, to um, leave the world a little, a little better than I found it. And um, ranching combines um, improving Mother Earth so it's better, even though it's a very small contribution. And the quality and the, um, of uh, the products that come from that, in this case beef, the quality is much better because of my either direct contribution or setting an example that others can use so it satisfies my aesthetic um, desires from life, as well as uh, providing all the complexity of data collection and utilization and evaluation and analysis that come from my engineering background. When I first bought uh, the ranch, um, 36 years ago, I, I was interested in the outdoors and uh, I enjoy being outdoors and connected with the land. And so we bought the ranch with uh, a primary focus of uh, increasing the, uh, the um, condition of the, of the range, which in the past had been abused. And I probably ride three or four or five days a week. And when I say ride, that's an eight or 10 hour day in the saddle. So I've known the country pretty well and I've seen the change. And, um, and I have seen um, the land respond to the techniques I've used of range management, of um, monitoring the range condition to know that it's uh, improving. And uh, this ranch was established uh, after the Civil War when most of Arizona got populated or at least um, settled. So the ranch house here was uh, built in 1876 um, with a booming mining industry and in Phoenix starting to grow. Uh, there was a demand for beef. And this ranch used to run over an ill-defined hundreds of square miles. They ran 5,000 cows, um, sort of in an uncontrolled fashion. Well, the cattle business, as uh, most people in the cattle business know, has become very complex in the last, say, 10 years, very uh, data-driven, data collection. And so now you have when I look at bull data, there may be 35 different parameters that I have to evaluate and rank and select by, uh, as opposed to going and buying a good looking bull. And so if I, I buy the bulls by their numbers, but in order to be knowledgeable enough to make that selection process, it takes probably man months equivalent of my time per year in just bull selection, whether it's AI, semen, or for um, live bull selection. So it's, it's, it's a real challenge to weigh all of those factors and worry about the livelihood and the health of those animals uh, and the range conditions. And so it's a, a very complex problem that I find challenging and intriguing and certainly demanding a lot of time. And to, to make measurable progress. But it's just personally important to me. I, you know, some of us just have our, our genes uh, connected with the soil. 
And uh, if we can make the land a better place and a better quality food coming off that land, then that's incentive enough for, uh, for us.